So whether or not you should go full time, quote unquote, really depends on how much you're making doing something else. What's the opportunity cost? Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin. We're in the Commonwealth cabin and another day, of course, of amazing in man sales. And we're going to do this at the very, very, very end of the video for those people who don't want to sit around and watch that. But for those of you who bought those, I just want to say thank you. And I'm going to make sure I do that for almost all of you, at least at the end of the video. I did want to talk about something else because I was talking about it with a fellow YouTube creator the other day. And I was talking about it with a viewer who asked this question about going full time. But I just wanted to talk about a couple things really quickly. And I'm going to use a couple items that sold in here today to get people to think about it. You know, I'm not full time. And there's a reason I'm not full time. Because it's very difficult to do what I do for the money I do it for this type of model and make enough money to support a family just on that income. Now, if my wife had a job making, you know, 50 grand or something, then we'd think of it. But my wife stays home. I work at school and she helps me a lot with this, which you hear hear me talk about all the time. Matter of fact, two of the items that sold right here that we're going to talk about, she listed, she sold them. I'm going to ship them, but she did all the hard work. So let's talk about that today for a second. I want to get your opinions on what I'm saying down below. All right, let's take a look. All right, I had a viewer the other day on one of the Commonwealth Picker videos kind of criticize me for picking up $5 profit items. And I often criticize myself for picking up $5 profit items. And if you've been around the show long enough, you hear my you hear me tease myself about picking up ashtrays and Tupperware. And so I criticize myself. But if you watch this show, not just the Commonwealth Picker channel show, you know that there's a rationale behind what I pick and the way I pick. And there's all kinds of facets, including the fact that I really enjoy garage sales and I would go to them anyways. And I'm buying. I like to buy. And so I also need to sell. And I need to sell the items that I buy, and even if they're not high-priced items. But don't make any mistakes here. There is a strategy behind it. I don't like picking up $5 profit items, but it's the kind of $5 profit items that I'm willing to pick up because of the money I make per hour, in my mind at least, how I do those calculations. And I want to talk about that today using this item and a couple more items before we show you the rest of the stuff that sold. So here's an item. This was a thrift store buy. This is something that my wife picked up. I was with her. I was trying not to buy, which is really hard for me. I didn't even want to go in the thrift store. I have been in the thrift store just one time this year up until this moment. And then I went in again with her because she wanted to go and she was looking for something in particular for herself. And I was like, all right. And of course you go in there and you just can't help but buy a few things. And she saw these and she's like, hey, should we grab these? Because she knows I'm iffy with jeans because I used to do it and I kind of got burnt out on it. So they were new with tags, of course, 515, and they're women's jeans, they're 10 mediums, I guess, and they're boot cuts. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know, I don't really want to. But we ended up buying them. They were $6.30 out the door, and we listed them for 20 bucks. So I want to run the numbers on this and show you how much we made and why I was wishy-washy, but in the end, I decided to grab them. All right, so here it is. Levi's, I put 10p, but they're 10 mediums. So $20, $28.20 is the money that came in to me, not the taxes and all that. That's the money that came in to me. So cost $6.30 after everything out the door. Shipping and handling $7.52. There's no handling. I just put that because it's habit. Shipping cost $7.52. I do fees at 15%. I realize fees aren't 15%, but I put them at 15% because there's other hidden costs that we don't always calculate. This one doesn't take any packaging because I'm going to put it in a bubble padded flat rate mailer that's free to me. However, the labels aren't free. There's a return every now and again. There's all kinds of things. You have to spend time on answering people's questions. You don't often factor all that stuff into the time you spend on an item. So I build in a little extra cost into that just to make it kind of close to reality because nothing ever works perfectly. You don't always have perfect sales 
with no returns, no lost items. So I just factor in a little bit extra, about 2.5% extra, a little less than that, just to make it fair. So 15% is $4.23, which brings us to a profit of $10.15. I figure the buying, the pictures, the listing, and the shipping out to be about 12 minutes. Now, I list really, really quickly. So Blue Ridge Mama listed those, which, by the way, was the reason I ended up buying them because I hate listing jeans, <laughs> but she's willing to do it. So that was the factor that put me over the top. She said, I'll list them. I said, good. At any rate, she was going into that store anyways. We were going into that store anyways, but I still factored in a couple of minutes for that particular item for the buy part. Pictures are fairly easy with that. I would take pictures in a minute, minute and a half. She'd probably take a little longer. She's a little more careful than me. Listing for me would be less than five minutes. For her, it may be around five minutes. And then shipping on that is really easy. So I figured a 12 minute estimate to make $10.15. Do the math here. That's You can do that five times in an hour. That's 50 bucks an hour. That's pretty good item for me. So a lot of people won't sell an item unless it's 25 bucks. I don't think about it that way. I think about it by time spent. How much time would you spend selling a video game console that you could make $25 on? You know, if you're going to clean that thing and test that thing and make sure everything's working good, untangle it, clean the cord, set it up for a picture, list it, that's going to take you a half an hour. So is that any different than doing this? I don't think it is. Matter of fact, I think I'd rather do that because testing video games and cleaning all that stuff isn't always fun. Plus, there's sometimes there's disappointment at the end of that. And sometimes there's a broken item in shipping or whatever. There's never a broken pair of jeans. They might not like it. They might return it, but they never break. So there's a little bit behind my thought process while I'm out there doing garage selling. I will pick up items that are really, really cheap profits. As long as I can do everything in like five, six, seven, eight minutes, I'm good to go. All right, this is an ornament that's going out to Carol. Carol bought a couple things yesterday, but they were both media mail items. So I didn't include this one in it because then I couldn't ship that media mail and this was going to go first class. So this is actually one of those times where it was cheaper for me to ship two different items or two items with media mail and then one item first class. And occasionally that's the case and I've talked about it before. But this is a Harley Davidson ornament and it was in a basket of things at a sale and I paid five bucks for all of the Harley ornaments. Here's one of them right here. This one will sell for like $16.95 where this one's only selling for eight bucks. But you know what? We laid all these ornaments out here. We took pictures of them, all of them in five minutes. All of them. There's like eight or nine or something like that. And they're always easy shippers. They don't take long to list. And so even though I'm only making about a $6 profit on this one, it's taking no time at all to do it, less than 10 minutes to do it. In that case, we're making over 30 bucks on this per hour. All right, can I do this here? There we go. <laughs> all right, I've talked about these before. Here's another item. This is gonna take me a little longer, right? It's gonna take me seven or eight minutes just to package this one up because it's gotta go in two tubes that I have to Franken box together. Picture taking takes a little longer for something like this. So this might be a 17 minute item, or let's say it's 20 even. But I'm gonna make $20 profit on this thing, more than that actually, which is really pretty darn good. So if I'm making $20, even if it takes me a half an hour, I'm making 40 bucks an hour. For me, that's good because my time is worth that. And, I'm, and I say this again, I'm not criticizing myself, but if I had a job or an opportunity to make 50 bucks an hour somewhere else, then this would be a waste of my time but I don't, nobody wants to hire me for that much. So this is a good use of my time. So whether or not you should go full time, quote unquote, really depends on how much you're making doing something else. What's the opportunity cost? If you're working for minimum wage, you're gonna make way more money doing this. If you're making 25 bucks an hour, mm, you better be good at it. If you're not good at it, you're gonna be making less than that. If you're making 50 bucks an hour, you better not be sourcing this stuff. All right, I just want to put this in here really quick so it didn't get lost in the shuffle. So we had a gift sent to us, two of them actually, from NC Picker. And he was kind enough to find these and send them to us. These are uh, <laughs> rare in a man before they were actually in a man. <laughs> Somebody on Instagram called him uh, in a man's daddy. So this is the first generation, I believe, of the in a man before it was the in a man. 
and he sent it to us. I have seen these before, but uh, I have never come across one, so they're they're super heavy duty. If this guy gets stuff moving out of your store, I'm sure this will do a number on it. And we decided that we were going to auction one off on Instagram and give the proceeds to charity. We're going to give the proceeds to a charity that my kids already donate to. A young man in Haiti, they give monthly, and then at Christmas they give a little more, and they do it through their own efforts on CommonwealthPicker.com and their Homeschool Hustler store. And they take profits as well. We're not just doing it for charity, but this one is. And so we're gonna give an extra gift here, and we decided we'd auction it off. Y'all went above and beyond. I just wanna mention a few folks and then tell you who won the thing. The bidding was started off, I think, first by a couple of pickers. So thank y'all so much for starting it off. And then the Flip King Official, Granny Smith's Collectibles, Flight of My Arrow, uh, Mount Man Treasure, Red Cardinal Treasures, Smoking Flips got the win at the end there. I don't want to miss anybody here. And a few folks wanted to even donate. I know Junior Capitalist and uh, a few other folks, maybe the Flippin' Dad here. I'm trying to remember. At any rate, I don't want to miss anybody, but some folks wanted to just donate on top of that. Well, I'm not set up for that yet. I didn't even think about that. So we're gonna give this, I told Blue Ridge Mama, she has to write the check tomorrow. <laughs> so we're just underneath the uh, line here. And so we're gonna add on, I told her, hey, write it. We gotta add 145 bucks to it. So we're gonna ship them off for free. It was really for this and a sticker and a couple of small stickers. And I just am overwhelmed with how much y'all bid. So $145 and this, I'm gonna show you in just a second who it's going to. His name is Brandon and he has a YouTube channel and uh, I have seen it before and I'm subscribed. So go ahead and check him out. Let's go look at it real quick. Here it is up here, smoking flips. He was at the 411, Highway 411 sale with a bunch of YouTubers right there. So Brandon, thank you so much. Y'all go check out his channel. And he said he had a son as well. I have a son named Turner. He has a son named Tanner. And he says he watches the show, so Tanner, we have thrown a misfit in a man in for you that we signed, and that's all yours, and you can have that. I don't know how old your son is, if he's a young guy or a little older, but uh, either way, this is yours, and we're going to throw in an extra t-shirt for your kindness. That is amazing, and that is on us, and we're just overwhelmed, and I know the little guy in Haiti, Vinsky, is going to be overwhelmed. His family is going to be absolutely overwhelmed. We gave him enough last year to get a, a gift that he wanted and then they ended up getting i think chicken instead which you know it is what it is but this year i can promise you with this gift they're gonna be able to get whatever they need so that is awesome you guys are amazing brandon thank you and y'all go check out his channel and i think he has an instagram by the same name smoking flips and again we have smoking flips on youtube thank you so much all right, have three more really quick in here before we go inside. And one of them went to a viewer. It's this gym lunchbox back here. And this one went to Winter. Winter, thank you so much. You have bought uh, many things from us. You said you saw us on Instagram. I did a little thing on Instagram. Maybe I'll remember it. Put it on this video or the next one where I took some uh, permanent marker off of that. And she saw it and she said, I want that thing. And so we sold it. I actually bought that from Tim the Toy Man. And if you've been watching the show for a while, you recognize Tim. That video won't be out for a few weeks, but winter when it is, you'll you'll see your uh, gym lunchbox being purchased. I was hoping there was a thermos in it, but there's not because that's a pretty good little lunchbox. And I think you bought another lunchbox from us not too long ago, or maybe you bought the other gym cutouts that we picked up at the uh, flea market. So at any rate, winter, thank you so much. We appreciate it. I think it was $18.95 plus shipping. I paid five bucks for it which is more than I want to pay, but it was a pretty good one. It's a hard to find one. This color, there's a couple from back then, but this color is better and the purple as opposed to, I think, black. And so you have the rarer of the two, Winter. And of course, I was buying it from a friend of mine who has supplied me in the past with some decent merchandise. So I'm willing to pay up and I certainly wasn't going to negotiate that one down. So I'll still make a good $11 on it, I think. So thank you. All right, next one is a, let's see if I can find it. It is a new 8-track, if there is such a thing. Nope, that's not it. That's Eddie Rabbit. And you can pick up 8-tracks cheap most of the time for good reason, because they're worthless. But sometimes whenever you find one new and sealed, it almost doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's somebody, somebody might recognize, they'll sell. So bought this in a giant lot for next to nothing. Picked most of them out and took them to the booth. And I picked two or three that I was going to sell on eBay. And this one paid for the entire lot, plus gave us a profit. And I bought, I don't even know how many, gee, probably 30 or 40. 
and even a couple cases and some other things in there. So Ronnie Millsap, $10 plus shipping. All right, last but not least in here are a couple more. I told you yesterday that I had sold out of an item, and then it turns out not only did I not sell out of the item, I had four more to go, so here it is. I had sold out in here. I pulled it from here yesterday, and so I thought they were all gone, but in reality, I had a bunch more inside. So sold one of these right here, the ice cream, which I told you I had run out of, but I hadn't, and I also sold one of the Grim Motions. So we'll get that one too. And they went to the same person, which is awesome, because I paid a dollar a piece, my wife did, at Lowe's after Halloween. Incredible deal. I've never had that happen before, where the manager just came out and said, hey, buy them all for a buck. And I'm like, well, well, I didn't say it. My wife said, okay. I wonder if he would have said that to me. Maybe he thought my wife was attractive. I don't know. Maybe I'm scared now. I have to go back and ask her. I think she videotaped that. <laughs> all right, I'm just playing. Okay, so a buck a piece. $13, so $12.95, $12.95, so a total of, what's that, uh, 26 bucks, you know, minus fees and shipping and all that, so it's going to be pretty darn close to a $20 profit, a little bit less, I think. All right, we have two homeschool hustlers, well, we have one homeschool hustler and then a spoiled rotten dog, huh, Sophie? <laughs> and we sold a couple things. We sold Green Arrow, Deathstroke, Funko Pop, and what's that one, Turner? Um, the Joker. It's the Joker from Batman, and we bought, I think, eight of these for 15 bucks, or seven of them for 15 bucks. Not an unbelievable deal. We're not going to make a whole bunch of money. Three of them are good enough to sell on eBay. What are you doing? Are you scratching her? Yeah. You're a mess. She needs a bath. It's been raining around here, so she's a mess. So, Turner, we made $20.20 plus shipping on these, so we're in the profit, and we're going to sell a bunch in the, in the uh, booth. And then one more on eBay. So that's enough for you to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate. And dollar. you know what? A viewer bought this. His name was Robert. Will you tell Robert thank you? Thank you, Robert. <laughs> that's very kind of you. Sophie, can you say thank you? No? All right. <laughs> Robert, that was awesome. We do appreciate it very much. Bye. Hey, I mentioned the other day that we had a ton of Animan selling, and I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you to a bunch of folks. But before I did that, I, well, first I want to say thank you to Kimberly, who didn't leave a message, but she bought two. But before I did that, I wanted to also mention that there was another factor, as opposed to just saying, hey, you know what, we're under 100 of these, you better get one now that made these sales even escalate even more. And that was something that was brought to my attention by a fellow YouTuber. Tommy, thank you for uh, letting me know. I had been busy over the weekend, so I didn't see this until about a day after it posted. And Pete, Craigslist Hunter, had opened up a package I sent him quite a while ago, actually. And I actually sent it and said, you know what, Pete, this is me saying thank you. I sent him an in a man and uh, a t-shirt and some other things just because he really inspired me to do the YouTube part of this, as I'm sure a lot of you out there who do YouTube and even reselling, you've watched Pete for a while, and he has just been an inspiration in a lot of ways. I just enjoyed the show, and a lot of what I do, you know, I kind of took from him, and I just wanted to say, hey, thank you, and I appreciate it. You know, he was one of the first, I call him the godfather here. Um, I know there was more, you know, earlier than Pete, but he was the one that I listened to. Pete and Ronnie from Heart Pickers and those guys. That was my introduction into this, and I didn't even know the world existed. And uh, I was, well, I knew the world existed. I didn't know this world existed. And I just said, hey, don't read this on the air or whatever. He just skipped over that and read it anyways. And that was very kind of you, Pete. I appreciate it. And he held up an Inaman. And when Pete holds up an Inaman, Inaman sell. It's like when Lonnie held up his Inaman. And John held up his in a man. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Josh Harry Tornado has it in the background. And all these YouTubers in the background. Thrift Mine has one. All these folks. And very, very kind to us. And every time one of those uh, <laughs> hold it up or somebody sees it, you know, and that's what happened. So there was a time last week when, r right when that video came out, is when I was just getting sale, sale, sale. So it's not the fact that we're just under 100 but the fact that Pete took the time to say some kind words about us. So we appreciate it, Pete. I really, really do. So at any rate, let's talk about some of these and who bought them. So this is going out to Brett. Hi, Kevin. My husband and I really enjoy your channel. Hopefully this will get things moving in Q4. My eBay store, Dahlias, is that right? D-A-H-L-I-A-S. Is that, that's a flower, right? Uh, denim jeans. Thanks for all you do and the information you provide. So Brett, thank you so much. We do appreciate it. Thank you to your wife as well. 
All right, this one's going out to Cassandra and Travis. Hi, Kevin. I've been watching you for about a year and have learned so much. My husband and I discussed selling on eBay, but never got to doing it. We finally took the plunge after I received a furlough hours in June for my job. Our eBay store is called Wisconsin River Pickers. So thank you so much. We do appreciate it to both you and to Travis. So thank you so much, Cassandra. This one, another couple here. This one's going out to Nick and to his wife, Katie. I absolutely love the videos. We just bought the Mickey from the Homeschool Hustlers. That was yesterday. That's awesome. By the way, whenever I have one sell out of the Homeschool Hustlers and one sell out of eBay, or out of eBay, one sell out of the Commonwealth Picker Store, I send them separate because they don't. the tracking won't go on the other one and then you kind of get dinged for not having trackable. You don't get dinged. You, just, you do that enough and it hurts your rating. So at any rate, uh, thank y'all. We just bought the Mickey from the Homeschool Hustlers. They bought that as a gift for their nephew. If you remember from yesterday's video, we know he'll love it. We came back and bought the Enemann as a mascot for our Macari business. Nick, N-I-C, D-B-Z-4 is the name of the Mercari account. But my wife mostly runs the show. Ha <laughs> ha. I think that's true of a lot of us out there. Anyway, thank you for all you do. You truly have taught us a ton. So thank you so much and God bless. So God bless you too. Thanks. All right, this one says Luis, but I'm not so sure. Or Louis, depending on, uh, <laughs> well, whatever. All right, hey, Commonwealth. Love the content and thanks for the tips and the knowledge you share. Hope this little guy will help boost my sales in Q4. My eBay store is called Brandon's Treasure Trove which doesn't really fit with Louie or Louise, but, what, but whatever. So I'm going to say thank you, Brandon. I think that's right, unless that's like your son or something. If you could sign this little guy, we would appreciate it. So thank you and good luck. So thank you. I appreciate it, and it's headed your way. All right, this one's headed out to Sean. Love your content. Keep it up. Virginia Flipper here in Fredericksburg. Moving into a new place slowed my listing. So because of the move, I've been worried about getting backed up. But I know Anna Man will help things. Hopefully, I'll see you one day at the 208 trail sale. I've never been. Maybe. Hopefully, we will someday. I appreciate it. And uh, stay healthy and happy. And I appreciate that as well. And we hope you do the same. So thanks, Sean. We appreciate it. This one is going off to Tina. She says, hi, Kevin. We recently started selling on eBay. Junkin' Funky Style <laughs> is our store. It's about three months old. Junkin' Funky Style. I like it. It's about three months old. It's doing good, but it needs a push. Hoping the Man can uh, push us into a huge Q4. Thanks for all your tips and advice. And thanks most of all for the Animan. So thank you, Tina. We appreciate it. And best of luck to you. This one is going out to Gary. Hey, Kevin, my Animan said he's been missing his siblings and asked me to get him a brother to keep him company and help get things moving even better. He's been good luck charm for me, so I couldn't turn him down. Really enjoying your videos on both channels and truly appreciate all the work. Homeschool Hustlers and Blue Ridge Mama and you put in and provide us and all the useful information and entertaining content. Keep on keeping on. Blessings to you and your family, Gary. So I just want to add one more thing, Gary. We don't often talk about Bubba. We don't often talk about my oldest boy. But he does a lot of stuff behind the scenes. He's not one to want to get on camera and whatever. I mean, he's got too many girlfriends out there, and he just wants to stay incognito, I guess. you know. So, <laughs> Plus, he's way more attractive than me, so I don't want him on camera anyways. At any rate, thank you, Gary. We appreciate it, and he is headed your way. You know what? I was going to call it a day there, but let's do one more. Let's do one more really quick. Hi, Kevin. This is from Glenn. Hi, Kevin. Figured I better get an Inman now since we're down under 100. I love your YouTube channel, and I have learned a lot. Thank you. I've been an eBay. That was them. Thank you. I mean, thank you, but that was... You get the point. I've been on eBay for 20 years. Sounds familiar. Buying and selling a little bit. In 2014, I decided to get a little bit more serious about it. My eBay store name is TNT Bay. 2014. I mostly do part-time sales while running my antique shop. Oh, that's awesome. Trash and treasures. Hope y'all stay healthy. Good luck, Glenn. So that's awesome. Running your own antiques. Any of y'all run a brick and mortar out there? Hey, leave a comment below if you run a brick and mortar. All right. I'd appreciate knowing that. So thank you. And uh, he's headed your way. All right. I'm going to say goodbye from in here like I always do. I cannot thank y'all enough. I've said it over and over, but uh, I wouldn't be here without you. I'm amazed every day that I'm here doing this and that people are watching. So thank you all so much, and we'll see you next time.